uh, <coughs> intro November, not November, September 16th, 2011. This is a little shelter I started on here a while back. I should say not really a little shelter. It's probably 40 foot long. You can see the mound of fill that kind of fell off the top up here. The ceiling's collapsed a lot of places. I've been down here two or three times. Started finding a little bit of stuff, but my dilemma is you can see these big rocks right here. These have all fell in from the ceiling. I dug all this area out in here one day and uh, didn't find nothing. And I got down in under these big rocks. Get the light. Dug this test hole down. I'm probably, well, I'm over my hips deep. I'm six foot two. Something's been a digging in under here. I'll have to look around in here. But anyway, you can see underneath here, hopefully. I started digging under these flat rocks. And I got under a bunch of ash pits, fire pits, just, boy, something's really been in there digging. Groundhog in here living. That's good. He'll help me. Anyway, under these slabs that have fell off, this ceiling up here, that's where I got to get to. And you can see the big mound of debris that's on top of all this ceiling. All the way down through here. Those big old rocks right down there, they've all fell off. There's stuff under them. Right down there's a creek. Uh, it's probably 10 foot straight down where I'm at to the creek bank. And then it the drops off down into there. I call this place a drag strip. Uh, I'll add a little strip a video on here why I call it that later on so anyway I'm here about noon Friday afternoon we're gonna <laughs> yeehaw a lot of work anyway I'm gonna start moving stuff maybe I'll get back for you if I hey hey Never see that very often. Pull up here at the creek and there's five otters running right down the dang creek. Well, I've been here an hour. Uh, I'm out of breath. Basically then taking this side off so I can get down to that layer. See that ash layer right down there? That's where I gotta get and I gotta get all this mass out of the way. I got lucky and hit a groundhog hole so it's easy digging right in there, but the last bucket I cleaned all the bottom before I started moving mass. Right. Well, the little devil's in there somewhere. I can't even see him. There he is. Right there. My golly. Hee <laughs> hee. What a cutie pie. Hmm. <laughs> Ain't that a sweetheart? Let me get some spit on him, see what he looks like. Well, I think he's got crud all over him. Kind of hard to tell what color it is. Get him cleaned up later. He's a cutie. I don't know if he's got a little tip damage. Almost all there. Almost a... Osceola, I don't know. Nice little point. Alright. Get back with you. I'm back. You gonna just turn up. Uh-huh. What do you think now? I think you know what that is, don't you? Boys and girls, I believe. That there. Gonna be a rice side notch or somewhat of it. 
I'm kind of figuring so. I don't know, that kind of dates this. That's kind of what uh, Roy told me he'd probably find first. It'd be a good rice side notch. I know it's broke, but you know, hey. Well, here we are in the cleanup. I figured Richard would get a kick out of that right there. Uh, my uh, wife works at a little store over here, and that was one of the little display boxes I had up. And they were throwing it in the dumpster one day, and I thought, you know, somebody may want that for something one of these days. I'd put it in the attic or something, and then all lo and behold, I happened to notice that Richard likes this stuff. Anyway, I got a couple of them. Ah, uh, what do you give for them? Hey, about a ten dollar bill, what do you say now? Hey, nah. Anyway, I've got them if you're interested. Well, I kind of got beat up down there at the, the drag strip. That's kind of a cool piece of rock right there, ain't it? It was some kind of weird tool. It's mozarchite, I'm guessing. Interesting. Lovely colors in that. I don't know how the light's reflecting off that. I got a little better light today, so we'll see. Just a tip. Just a broken piece. I know most people don't show them, but since this is out of this shelter, this in here was one that just absolutely blew me away when I seen it. There ain't an eighth of an inch in that anywhere. That's the thinnest, biggest piece I think I've ever found. Had a nice bullseye in it. It'd have been something. This little devil, that's the base. I'm not even sure what that might have been. Maybe a little point, a little drill, I don't know. This in here, maybe you guys can help me out. That's really the first piece with a base on it that I've got to come across in there. Got some cool colors. But this is real sharp. This ain't been ground. This is just as sharp as, a, just keen as a razor. Anyway, it is what it is. There's the one that I pulled out of the screen. Cute little point. I don't. I don't think it's even broke. It looks like. The, I guess it could be, but it, it just kind of looks like that's the way it is. Cute little level. We find some points around here called we call low cell points. It's got the same type of base. It's similar to Cahokia, but it ain't Cahokia. It's. A, I think it's just low And then this here, really intriguing. It is not a piece of bone. It's not a piece of chert. Now, I don't know what catlinite is. You can see the grooves down that thing, kind of. I hope you can. It, it reminds me of ceramic. It's a mystery. First thing I thought of when I got it, I thought, well, that, I thought it was a bone, but after I cleaned it up, I know it ain't. It's, uh, I just don't know what it is. Anyway, maybe somebody can chime in on there and tell me. Uh, those grooves are, I'm pretty sure, man-made. Kind of see them there, I hope. There's two of them, two grooves down that thing. So maybe somebody can give me some insight on what this is. It's pretty heavy. So I'm thinking it's some type of rock, or I don't, I don't know. You got me. Anyway, that's pretty much the gist of it today. It beat me up pretty bad. I got a lot of other little pieces, but nothing major. This in here was the, the heartbreaker of the day, in my opinion. I just can't imagine what that was. But anyway, it is what it is now. Okay, we may get back down there Saturday afternoon sometime. I don't know, my daughter's coming home from college. We'll, we'll see. So, until then, this is Timo. Thanks for watching.